Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, Logan and I are going to work on the hay rake, get some teeth replaced, and uh, start getting it ready for hay season. One board holds each of these teeth, and we will remove the bad, bad teeth and move on. We got about 15 replacement teeth. Um, I don't think we need all of them. Uh, there's a couple that are broken off, a couple that are worn down pretty bad. We'll get those replaced and then we'll save the extras for after after first cut. We'll probably lose a couple more, I'm sure. So we'll save the extras for then. All right, I hope you guys can see that. Here, can you get that wrench back on there? Okay. You hold it up there, okay? You hold it up there. All right, some of these bolts are rusted pretty good, but uh, we'll replace them if we need to. Okay, let's get the wrench on this other one right here. Flip it over this way. There you go. Battery's going dead. Okay, you can take the wrench off. Okay. okay, we'll just slide the new the new tooth. You just got not the best angle for the camera, but I have the rake jam but jam back in this corner for winter. Can't really see. Kind of snake the snake the tooth up in there. And then the bolt goes through. I'll get a close up here in a minute and show you this. All right, let me bring the wrench back over. Put the wrench back on here. Can you reach up for it? And hold there. There you go. Let's pull this other one over more. There you go. Alright, it's one one rake tooth replaced. For five or six more to go. Alright, we went through and replaced the teeth. Uh, there were three that were broken. Uh, broken off completely and then I think there were just six others that were just worn down pretty good that we replaced so I had a had a good helper with me today it was nice to be able to work on this with with my son Logan so I'll show you the teeth here that were that we replaced all right you can see here there's three that were broken off you know these two this one broke off right here this one broke off up there and then this one snapped off up inside the mount then there was just six that were they would have still worked. This one wasn't terrible. Um, it was beside another one that was bad. I don't remember if one of these two probably. But uh, so some of these aren't terrible, but they were worn down pretty good compared to a new tooth. So we went ahead and replaced those. I'll hold on to a couple of these as spares um, just in case I need to throw one on quick, quick or something like that. But uh, get those cleaned up. There's definitely still more on there. There's probably still a couple, I'm sure, at least 
half a dozen or more that are like this one. They're getting worn down. Um, I am going to slowly replace them. I do have six more new ones, so I might go through and change a couple more out. I'd like to have two or three at least uh, new on hand just in case I break any as I'm, as I'm raking. So this rake is a PTO driven rake. Um, so the power takeoff connects to the tractor and then this is the, the drive belt. Um, and this belt looks like it's in very poor shape. Um, I kept an eye on it last year and it's been working, it's been working really well. So I mean, if you can see here, make it a shadow. It, it looks in, to be pretty well dry rotted, but I'm not going to swap it out yet. I do have a replacement belt on hand. So if, if this does break, I can get it swapped out in pretty quick time and, and move on. But we're going to let that go for now. It's not a, not a really expensive belt, but it's cost enough. I'm going to run this one as long as I can. I did have to replace uh, the tires the end of last summer, right around second cutting. Um, I started a video on that then um, and never did, never did complete anything else with it. So I'll throw a clip of uh, a clip of that in. Uh, the previous tires on there were, were getting dry rotted and basically just completely came apart. So I'll throw a quick clip of that in of uh, swapping those tires. Okay, I'm replacing one of the rake tires. Um, I forgot to get video pulling it off the, off the rake itself and then pulling the tire off the rim. But as you can see the tire, the tire basically just came apart. It was dry rotted, it was in bad shape. Um, I cut it to just make it easy to get it off. But, uh, it came apart when I was raking last time. There was about 10 minutes of raking left, so I just ran with a flat just to get done. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get a new tire, new tube, get that put on, get the, put on back on the rake, so we're ready to use that tomorrow. Um, that's the new tire mounted up on the rim. Uh, back on the rake. Uh, nothing too, nothing too special or exciting here. Just Hopefully this, this is a, a boat trailer tire. Um, hopefully it holds up a lot better than what was on there before. So we'll see. That's all for the, for the hay rake for now. Like I said, I might replace a couple more, but I'm not going to bore you guys with that. I only showed you really replacing one of them. Um, it's not really exciting watching pull those bolts out. So um, if anybody has any questions though, drop a comment below and I'll, I'll answer them. Um, other than that, it was, like I said, it was nice getting to work, uh, work with Logan on this. It's good working with him. So. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. All right. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you on the next one.